Hi, it's Julie Clark. I run the Transition into Parenthood classes and I would love to welcome you along. I teach two different types. One has a two-day component and that's the condensed course. Day one, we run through all of the um, pregnancy, labour and birthing. And pregnancy, in that I'm telling you where you're at now and what's coming up next and what you can reasonably expect, how to minimise risks, um, how to maximise um, your enjoyment of the pregnancy as well and then uh, day two is all about um, babies looking after babies so feeding and sleeping and settling now you don't have to take millions of notes well I, some people do some people are fantastic with notes uh, I've actually already got the notes organized for you just to make it easy so we start at nine o'clock in the morning um, we finish at 4.30, uh, that's on every day that I teach, it's always exactly the same. We have a quick break for morning tea, quick break for afternoon tea, and we have a quick break for lunch, so just 30 minutes for lunch. Now the reason I do really fast breaks is uh, so that we maximise our time together, so that we can really squeeze the maximum out of the day. Now I've been pregnant and I understand how hungry we get when we're pregnant. So there's no way I want you to go hungry. What I encourage everybody to do is bring along your own um, esky full of food, um, you know, bottled water, juice, whatever you want to bring. I've actually already got heaps here, but you can bring all the things that you love. Lots of fruit, nuts, muesli bars, everything that you want to eat. I've got a big fridge, big microwave. You can use all of that as well. Um, all of those facilities are available for you. So you can eat all day in the classroom. Don't you love that? Don't you wish school was like that? And we kick off shoes at the door so we're so comfortable, air conditioned. If it's a stinking hot heat wave day, I can make it like a fridge in here for you. You'll feel so comfortable. So summertime, all my classes are happy. Uh, they take a little break and they can sit in the garden under the really pretty peppercorn tree uh, where it's lovely and shaded and really cool out there. Um, winter time, of course, it's freezing in winter. I think it is. Everybody who's pregnant is like, no, I like this. It's really comfortable but I can make the room lovely and snug and hot water bottles and everybody's very comfortable and very relaxed. So we can eat, drink, be merry all day. It's a super positive environment. Um, everybody has a great time here, but more importantly, they learn a massive amount. <clears throat> so this particular book is um, Preparing for Birth Mothers. It's a textbook that's filled with lots of really good, helpful information, guiding you right through pregnancy, labour and birth. The important part in this book too is uh, giving you plenty of illustrations, lots of diagrams and ideas, but also explaining medical interventions, things like gas, morphine, epidurals, um, forceps delivery, vacuum delivery. None of it's scary. It's all done just with little line sketchy drawings, but it's explaining what it is, why it would be done, when it would be done, how it's done, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, and it weighs up all the information for you. So this is an excellent book, taking you through the medical interventions and helping you to feel more informed, but in a very balanced way. So you do understand it's, um, uh, it helps you with making decisions on the day. Now the other book I've got here is for dads. So the dads love this because it's written like a car manual. So it has a troubleshooting guide in it. You know, so if you've got a car manual and you open it up and you see the troubleshooting guide, it says, what, the engine doesn't start? Try this, you know, stick the key in it and turn it. I don't know, whatever it is in the car manual. Well, in here it's, she's gone overdue. What can you do to help her? She's having a long, slow, boring labor. What can you do to help her? And they are brilliant checklists that are in here. The dads love this because of the way that it's written. It's so easy to read. Mind you, I do warn the dads, don't start reading this while she's actually in labour. Yeah, okay? I'm going to teach you how to massage her. Don't read the book uh, that late. What I recommend is bring them both home, drop them on the dining table or wherever you normally eat, and then while you're enjoying your meal, just turn another page and read another little bit. So this is the book I've designed. I've developed over 30 years of hunting and gathering information this is the Transition into Parenthood workbook and everybody who comes to the Transition into Parenthood course gets a copy of this. I actually just had somebody who came through the classes a year ago and she has a girlfriend over in the UK and she said she hasn't got very much information. I thought they had heaps. She said, can I buy your book, Julie, and I want to post it to her. So I made an exception to the rule there and I, I um, gave her a couple of copies and she's sending it over. 
what's in here is a massive amount of information on what you can reasonably expect, uh, what this, how to work with the staff in the hospital. So you might be going to a delivery suite uh, and what the facilities are like and how to use those facilities. You might be going to a birth centre, uh, so the classes are, are very much geared up towards that kind of birth too. And some people, not very often, um, have a home birth and so I'm able to fill in all those gaps too and help you prepare for your home birth. So I've been teaching for 30 years. I've had about 10,000 couples come through my classes in that time. Yep, I'm a mum. I've had two babies and I've used all of this information. Um, the first half of this book is all pregnancy, labour and birth and the second half, very importantly, is baby care. So feeding and sleeping and settling and how to make up the baby's bed, how to minimise the risk of SIDS, how to bath a baby, it's absolutely massive, what to buy for the baby, uh, what age bracket, what you need to look for, a lot about safety. And guess what? We were a finalist in the most recent local business awards. I'm a bit proud of that. So I had a lot of backing, a lot of support uh, from all the people who have been through before. A lot of them have written Google reviews, five star, love those, and reviews on Facebook. And then I asked them all, would you please um, vote for me? And they did, and I became a finalist. So I was extremely thrilled about that. So the other thing that I have for those who come along to Transition into Parenthood is a mega show bag filled with um, all sorts of freebie samples, a lot of luxury items. There's a luxury show bag in here, uh, which is very clever. So not wasting any plastic or any paper. This is a, um, a laundry bag. So you can put your own delicate clothes in there, bras, maternity bras and undies, etc. And pop them through the wash so you just close it up and it will protect everything so that they're not going to get tangled up and ruined. But also baby things too, so you can pop those in. It's a, a good baby wash bag too. So there's all sorts of um, samples, uh, wonderful things that uh, I endorse and, and encourage you to um, have a look at. And then I have all sorts of other companies that send me things uh, that I can hand out as freebies uh, as well. So it's endless actually. I've got beautiful aroma baby, I've got the pigeon products, it goes on and on and on. So um, it's, it's actually quite wonderful being able to help people to this extent. I love being able to uh, have pregnant couples come along, often they're very nervous and they're like, oh, I don't even know if I want to be here because prenatal classes have got a terrible reputation for frightening the heck out of people uh, or being too superficial and being too boring. And of course that's not what this is about at all. So I welcome you and I welcome your partner. Uh, partners are often very reluctant to come along, but when they find out they kick off their shoes at the door and they can eat all day and they're going to have some fun and that their, their dad jokes are going to be laughed at, then uh, they do actually get a lot out of it. The dads are so glad they came and they feel so much more included in the actual pregnancy right from the day they come here. I had a woman recently say to me, I don't know what it was that you said, but you know, there seemed to be just something that flung him around completely and he really got with the program and uh, when I went into labour, he, um, he sounded like you, Julie, and he was just rubbing my back and he was saying things that you were saying in class and he was just, he was awesome, he was so awesome and now he just loves being a dad and he's carrying our baby around all the time and that's what I aim for. I just want to include everybody for it to be super positive, for us to have a great fun day while we're here and for you to get a massive amount out of this. So I love that I've helped so many people over so many years and I'd love to help you too.